So the Cubs have started out this season one and two. They've dropped a couple to Milwaukee. Brewers won today nine to five. Cubs have actually had some decent starting pitching to start off the year. Marcus Stroman has done great in his first start. Justin Steele, very good. Jamison Tyone got roughed up a bit today. But here's the kicker, at least in today's game against Milwaukee. The Cubs had a bullpen catastrophe. Julian Merriweather pitched today five earned runs in two-thirds of an inning, and Jamison Tyone gave up three in his start. Only two strikeouts. Not a good showing for the Cubs in this first series. Now, again, first series, I'm not going to say this whole season is doomed because of three games, but really not the best start for them. And here's something that I found interesting. I want to check to make sure that hasn't changed. Cody Bellinger is 0 for 11 to start out this year. Cody Bellinger is 0 for 11. Eric Hosmer is 0 for 7. Now, Here's the thing. I'm okay with Eric Hosmer being 0 for 7. It's a joke, but the Cubs are paying him a prorated league minimum salary. They get 750000 or 530000 something along those lines. The Padres are paying the rest of his salary. So that's fine. I mean, really, you're bringing in somebody with some experience for no money. I'm okay with that. Cody Bellinger was paid for a one-year contract right around $20 million. I want to make sure I cite that correctly. Cody Bellinger, yep, a one-year deal, $12.5 million in 2022. He's going to get $25 million in 2024. Let's make sure, $17.5 million this season. Cody Bellinger is making $17.5 million from the Cubs this year. Now, why they signed him at all, let alone paid him $17.5 million, is beyond me. I think that money could have been invested somewhere else, a starting pitcher, a Different offensive player because right now Cody Bellinger is 0 for 11. Ouch. Am I surprised? No. Because Cody Bellinger has been unable to figure it out for three years now. You know, usually back in the day, I know I sound like an old man here, but I followed baseball for a while. When you go 0 for 11 or when you hit under 200 for an entire season, you get freaking demoted. You go somewhere else. You learn your swing again. You don't get paid $17.5 million. We are in an era of people getting paid for just no reason, just because of a name or because of a good year five years ago. Look at Chris Bryant. Rockies paying him millions of dollars, seven-year, $100 million contract, and he played 35 games last year. And Chris Bryant hasn't been elite or really good in about three years. That's a fact. Look it up. He's been a league average hitter for about three years now. But they're paying him because, what, he won a World Series and the MVP in 2016? Give me a break. Same thing right here with Cody Bellinger. Wow, he won an MVP in 2019. Who cares? What's he done since then? And the answer is zero. The answer is 190, 220 home runs, barely getting any at-bats in Los Angeles because he couldn't hit. And now he starts off his season with the Cubs 0 for 11. 0 for 11. And they're paying him $17.5 million. He's an $18 million man hitting 0, 0, 0. And he's 0 for 11 to start off this year. For anybody who had any expectations, for anybody who said, because a lot of people did say, wow, it's Cody Bellinger, what a big deal. You've all been proven wrong. And this is not a surprise to anybody. Hopefully he turns it around and I can eat my words, but this is not the start you want if you're the Cubs and Cody Bellinger. And for anybody who's shielded for Bellinger too, because there were so many people I saw it all over social media. Oh my gosh, we got an MVP. Who cares? What's he done the past three years in baseball? Zero. And now literally he's done zero. Oh, for 11. Horrible start to the season. What a joke. But no. We all have to freak out because the Cubs paid $18 million to a guy who had 200 because he won an MVP in 2019. Really? That's the logic we're following here? What a shame. For his sake, I hope he gets better. Don't think he's a bad guy or anything, but this is just bad. I mean, you're paying him all this money for no reason. This is not a personal attack. It's just, why pay him all this money? Dansby Swanson has exceeded expectations for me, hitting above 400 through these first three games. Nico Horner's turned it on a bit. He started out one for eight, but 
Had a two-for-five day on Sunday, moving up his average. Ian Happ has been doing okay. Patrick Wisdom, a two-for-four, but two RBIs on Sunday as well. He's improving his batting average, which was at zero as well. It's early. We can't make judgments after three games. Really, we can't. I mean, a month or two, maybe. So, very early. But so far, I don't like the Cubs' lack of offense. I mean, you have a couple of guys hitting. People do need to improve, though. They really do. Madrigal has no hits yet. Master Buone has no hits yet. Jan Gomes and Eric Hosmer, we've talked about. Osborne didn't play on Sunday, so he's going to still sit at 0 for 7. Trey Mancini got the start instead, first base, and he went 1 for 4. Cubs pitching is there, which I appreciate and like. Justin Steele and Marcus Stroman did great. Jamison Tayo, not so much. Javier Saad got blown up. Merriweather now got blown up today. Adbert Alzaline, two innings, three Ks, no runs, no hits. Great. Mark Leiter Jr., one inning, two walks, two Ks. No runs. We've seen some positives, and we talked about this already. The pitching staff's going to be the key for this team. Really, it is. I mean, if everybody replicates even last year, the Cubs were 39-31 and after the All-Star break last year. Just their young pitching, the controllable young pitching, did great. We still haven't seen Wisniewski pitch yet. Hayden Wisniewski, we're going to see him this week. A lot to be excited about if you're a Cubs fan when it comes to the pitching. But something's got to give offensively. Something's got to get better. I mean, Cody Bellinger, you're paying him $18 million. He is over, what, 11 now? Wow. How do we not see this, people? Did anybody see this coming? I know I did. Had Gordon Whitmire on the program last week, the day before opening day, and I asked him, because he mentioned Cody Bellinger, do you have any thought or inclination as to maybe a renaissance for Bellinger? And he said no, and he's been right, and we, we knew this. I asked the question because I wanted Cubs fans to see the truth in Bellinger, but apparently people are finding out the hard way. Cody Bellinger is not a bad guy. Cody Bellinger is not a horrible baseball player, if we're talking about a couple of years ago, but today he can't hit the baseball, and he hasn't been able to hit the baseball since 2020. So 2020, COVID year, 2021, 2022, that's two and a half, three years, and now this year still. It's a pattern. If you haven't figured it out in Los Angeles, how do you expect to figure it out here? He's been ousted from the Dodgers. They didn't want him back. (laughs) They didn't need him. Trace Thompson, his replacement, who's been a journeyman around baseball, just had a three-homer day yesterday. Who do you think they care about right now? And who do you, or do you think any of them are even thinking about Cody Ballinger? No, he's gone. He's an afterthought. They did not want him back. He couldn't hit. And it's a shame because just a couple of years ago, MVP, great player. Now all of a sudden, this is what's happened to him. But Cody, you got to do better. You got to hit more. 0 for 7 to open up the season is just not going to get it done. Now 0 for 11. Hosmer's 0 for 7 too, but at least Hosmer's not making $18 million. From the Cubs. The Cubs are paying him his prorated minimum. The Cubs are paying Bellinger $18 million to do this so far. Something has to change. I remember when the Cubs gambled on Jack Peterson, one year $8 million. That didn't work. Then Peterson turns around and does great, fine. But one year $8 million is fine. That's a sensible gamble. The Cubs outbid themselves on this. Who was actually sitting there willing to pay $18 million for Cody Bellinger? I wish... I have access to the negotiations that went on. There is no way somebody was sitting there trying to outbid the Cubs for $18 million for Cody Bellinger. There's just, I can't even fathom that. There's no way. No way. Why are you going to pay $18 million for an MVP in 2019 when the year is 2023? But the Cubs are stuck with him. At least for now. I guess the hope is that maybe he'll turn it on and Cubs could trade him away eventually at the trade deadline. But I'll tell you what, if this continues, nobody's going to want him. And then it's just going to be a waste of $18 million. And for a team that says, hey, we're a little bit worried about money and we're not there yet. And for a team that let Kyle Schwarber go a couple of years ago for $8 million. 
I find it very odd that they justify an $18 million signing for somebody who, like Schwarber, can't even hit above 200 Don't get it. Don't understand. Cubs pitching has done great, and that's going to be the key to their success this season. But if somebody could explain to me why Cody Bellinger is worth $18 million and why there was such a rejoicing upon his signing, let me know. I don't see anything good coming from it.